The F-22 Raptor, often hailed as the most advanced air superiority fighter in the world, has been the crown jewel of the U.S. Air Force since its introduction in 2005. With its sleek, stealthy design, super cruise capability, and unparalleled maneuverability, the F-22 was designed to dominate the skies. Its combination of advanced avionics, radar evading stealth, and integrated sensor systems allows it to engage multiple targets simultaneously, both in the air and on the ground. Despite its impressive capabilities, the F-22 is not without limitations, and the U.S. Air Force has already begun planning for its eventual replacement through the Next Generation Air Dominance NGAD, program. So, why is the F-22 being replaced, and what does this mean for the future of air combat? First, let's talk about the F-22's configuration and why it's such a formidable aircraft. The Raptor is powered by two Pratt & Whitney F-119 PW100 turbofan engines, which provide it with thrust vectoring capabilities, allowing for incredible agility and tight turns that outmatch most other fighters. Its stealth design, featuring radar-absorbing materials and a shape that minimizes radar cross-section, makes it nearly invisible to enemy radar. The F-22 is also equipped with the APG-77 radar, which can track multiple targets at long ranges, and an advanced sensor suite that provides the pilot with unparalleled situational awareness. In terms of armament, it carries a mix of air-to-air -air missiles, including the AIM-120 AMRAAM and AIM-9 Sidewinder, as well as internal bays for precision-guided bombs. Despite its age, the F-22 remains unmatched in air-to-air -air combat, with no recorded losses in simulated or real engagements. However, the F-22's combat experience is surprisingly limited. While it has been deployed in conflicts such as Syria, where it conducted airstrikes against ISIS targets, it has never faced a peer adversary in a full-scale air war. This lack of real-world testing against advanced threats raises questions about how it would perform in a high-intensity conflict against a near-peer competitor like China or Russia, both of whom have been developing advanced air defense systems and fifth-generation fighters like the Chinese J-20 and the Russian Su-57. Additionally, the F-22's small fleet, size only 186, were ever built, with around 180 operational today poses a significant challenge. The Air Force retired the F-22 production line in 2011 due to high costs and shifting priorities, leaving the service with a limited number of airframes that are becoming increasingly expensive to maintain as they age. This brings us to the core reasons why the F-22 is being replaced. First and foremost, the Raptor was designed in the 1980s and 1990s, and while it remains a cutting-edge platform, the world of military aviation has evolved dramatically since then. Adversaries have developed advanced stealth aircraft, long-range missiles, and integrated air defense systems that challenge the F-22's dominance. For example, China's J-20 and Russia's Su-57 may not match the F-22 in terms of raw performance, but they represent a significant threat, especially when deployed in large numbers. Additionally, the F-22's stealth technology, while still effective, is based on 1990s-era designs. Modern radar and sensor systems are becoming more sophisticated, potentially reducing the Raptor's ability to remain undetected. Another critical factor is the F-22's limited upgradability. Unlike the F-35, which was designed with modularity and future upgrades in mind, the F-22's systems are highly integrated and difficult to modify. This makes it challenging to incorporate new technologies, such as advanced AI, directed energy weapons, or next-generation sensors, without extensive and costly overhauls. The Air Force has invested in incremental upgrades for the F-22, such as improved communication systems and new weapons integration. But these efforts can only go so far. The Raptor's avionics and software architecture were not designed to accommodate the rapid pace of technological change we see today. The NGAD program aims to address these shortcomings by developing a sixth-generation fighter that is not only more advanced than the F-22, but also more adaptable to future threats. While specific details about NGAD remain classified, it is expected to feature next-generation stealth capabilities, AI-driven systems, and the ability to operate alongside unmanned, loyal wingman drones. NGAD will likely also incorporate advanced propulsion systems, such as the adaptive engines being developed under the Adaptive Engine Transition Program, AETP, which would provide greater speed, range, and fuel efficiency compared to the F-22's engines.
Additionally, NGAD is being designed with open architecture systems, making it easier to integrate new technologies as they emerge. One of the most intriguing aspects of NGAD is its emphasis on manned-unmanned teaming. The sixth-generation fighter is expected to operate alongside a fleet of unmanned combat aerial vehicles, UCAVs, often referred to as loyal wingmen. These drones could perform a variety of missions, from scouting and electronic warfare to engaging enemy targets. By offloading some tasks to unmanned systems, the NGAD pilot can focus on higher-level decision-making, increasing overall mission effectiveness. The concept of loyal wingmen isn't entirely new programs like the XQ-58A Valkyrie have already demonstrated the potential of low-cost, attritable drones. However, NGAD takes this idea to the next level, integrating AI and advanced networking to create a seamless partnership between manned and unmanned platforms. As with any major defense program, NGAD faces its share of challenges. One of the biggest is cost. Developing a sixth-generation fighter, along with its associated systems, is an expensive endeavor. The Air Force has already indicated that NGAD will be a family of systems, which could include not only the fighter jet, but also drones, sensors, and other technologies. This complexity could drive up costs, raising concerns about affordability and sustainability. Another challenge is the rapid pace of technological change. While NGAD is designed to be cutting edge, the threat environment is evolving just as quickly. Adversaries like China are investing heavily in their own sixth generation programs, as well as in technologies like hypersonic missiles and cyber warfare. Ensuring that NGAD remains ahead of these threats will require constant innovation and adaptation. There's also the question of how NGAD will fit into the broader U.S. military strategy. The Air Force has already committed to purchasing over 1,500 F-35s, and the Navy is developing its own sixth-generation fighter, the FAXX, as part of the NGAD program. Coordinating these efforts to ensure interoperability and avoid duplication will be critical. Despite the challenges, the NGAD program is moving forward at a rapid pace. In 2023, the Air Force announced that it plans to field the NGAD fighter by the early 2030s, with initial operational capability potentially coming even sooner. This aggressive timeline reflects the urgency of maintaining air superiority in the face of growing threats. In the meantime, the Air Force is investing heavily in the technologies that will underpin NGAD, from AI and directed energy to advanced materials and propulsion. These investments are not only critical to the success of NGAD, but also have the potential to spin off into other areas, benefiting the broader defense industrial base. The timeline for replacing the F-22 is still somewhat fluid, but the Air Force has indicated that NGAD could achieve initial operational capability by the early 2030s. This means the F-22 will likely remain in service for at least another decade, during which it will continue to play a critical role in maintaining U.S. air superiority. However, as NGAD comes online, the F-22 will gradually be phased out. This transition will not happen overnight. The Air Force plans to operate both aircraft side by side for a period to ensure a smooth handover. The exact number of NGAD fighters to be produced is still unclear, but it will likely be larger than the F-22 fleet, addressing one of the key limitations of the Raptor program. While the F-22 Raptor remains a formidable aircraft, its age, limited fleet size, and lack of upgradability make it increasingly vulnerable to emerging threats. The NGAD program represents the next leap in air combat technology, designed to maintain U.S. air superiority in an era of rapidly advancing military capabilities. Replacing the F-22 is not just about building a better fighter. It's about creating a system that can adapt to the unpredictable nature of future warfare. As the NGAD fighter takes to the skies, it will carry on the legacy of the F-22 while ushering in a new era of air dominance. The Raptor may be retiring, but its successor promises to be even more extraordinary.